it's me again. Uh, this time my video will be about my flatmates. You already seen them in my previous video when I was knocking their door. And this time I already made uh, interviews with them and they will talk about their experience and their EVS life here in the UK. And it was really exciting and I hope that you will like it. Uh, so we will start with Eva. Uh, she's from Germany, she's 19 and she will introduce herself to you. Uh, it's really exciting, hope you like it and hope you'll enjoy the video. Uh, I will share the other interviews one by one. Uh, please feel free to leave any comments or if you have any thoughts or questions, please feel free to write them to me. And thanks for watching, hope you like it. Hi. Hi Eva, thank you for doing this with me today. Hi. Can you introduce yourself a bit? Sure, um, my name is Eva, I'm from Germany, I'm 19 years old. Um, I don't know what else to say. I'm an EVS as nil, we live together and... What is your role in Red Cross? Right, I'm supporting the Refugee Support Service Bradford. So, yeah. What are you doing with refugees? <laughs> so we have a weekly drop-in in Bradford it's Tuesdays mm -hmm. um, where everyone can just well, drop in and they have different is issues around accommodation, around asylum support um, and then caseworkers, mm -hmm. I'm a caseworker too, we see them, discuss what we can do about those issues, try to resolve them and yeah, then we do follow up in the office to follow up on the issues and yeah, update the database and that's what my week looks like. <laughs> <laughs> and you said you're 19, so did you just graduate from high school? That's correct. Um, <laughs> I just graduated and for me it's the gap year between high school and university. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to study medicine next year and I just wanted to well, have a bit of work experience not just learn and learn and learn <laughs> and I'll also um, I always wanted to live abroad too so yeah that's the reason you wanted to like EBS yeah that's and because I just like the idea of volunteering and then again if it's in Europe you're not that far away from home I like that expert uh, I like <laughs> that part of EBS um, and also you just have to admit it's a great program a lot of funding from the EU, from the EU Commission. They pay a lot and it's, I think, one of the cheapest ways for you to go abroad because they just take care of everything. So, go EBS, do it! <laughs> Perfect. And what do you learn here? Like, I, I believe you learn a lot of things, but what's the, like, the thing, oh, I didn't know that at all. And you're just surprised. That British people queue up for the bus. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good I one. Mean, yeah, I mean, I learned a lot. Obviously, a lot of well, vocabulary and language stuff and just yeah a lot of cultural things like the queuing up part a lot of legal things I guess around the whole asylum system yeah and um, what, what are the challenges for you to live abroad to stay away from your family yeah I think the biggest challenge for me is to it's the first time I'm living on my own and then, then in a different country different language I think the biggest challenge for me personally is just to well live on my own <laughs> somewhere else. Mm -hmm. And are you happy with living with me? Sure, she's really nice to live next to. You have to know we are living next to each other in one floor in the house. It's really nice. She's really quiet. Okay, so you don't fine. have any problems. Okay. No. Cool. Of course, she's so annoying and <laughs> living with her. She's an awful person. Don't watch her videos. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, uh, you already told me, but uh, just to ask you again, you recommend doing EVS for everyone? Not for everyone, I guess, because from my experience of EVS people I met, they are all... In, well, of course, everyone's super different. Um, but in some ways we are all similar. And I think you need to have this, well, you need to want to live abroad and you need to be interested in different cultures and you need to be willing to learn because 
at least I had a lot of learning to do in the first few weeks. I was really exhausted, exhausting, I'm not gonna lie. Um, yeah, so I guess it's not for everyone because it's challenging, but if you want to accept the challenge, it's a great thing to do. Perfect. Thank you for this inspirational <laughs> words. Do you want to say something else or do you want to add something more? I want to greet my parents! <laughs> <laughs> no, I, no, I don't. Well, yeah, I do. But yeah, I think it's nice that Bill is doing the videos because then I can always, when I'm back in Germany, look back at the year when someone well, did some documentary thing. So. We can do it more often. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Oh, that's really nice. You are so professional. I was like, yeah. but I, I thought, oh, no, it was, it was so great. great. It was so natural and just so like comfortable. Amazing. Yeah. Really. Yeah. I actually thought about going into politics when I